Hi, this is V2, your community manager at KickSci. In this video, we are going to get up close and personal with all the backyard monsters as we discuss each of their special abilities to help you pick the right monster for any kind of attack. The first monster you have access to is the Pokey. On their own, even the most basic of towers can kill them, but in a swarm, these monsters consume everything in their path. The Pokey is a general monster, so it will attack the closest enemy target. The Octa Ooze monster is the most basic tower attacker in the game. These slimy fiends soak up firepower like a sponge and have much higher health than Pokies. They can be most effective when deployed during the first wave of an attack on an enemy's yard in order to clear the way for resource looting monsters. Bolts, like their name, are as fast as lightning. This is also your first resource targeting monster, which means they will attack resource producers, storage silos, and town halls over all other buildings. Bolts' greatest advantage is their speed. Like other resource targeting monsters, they can loot up to 20% more resources in an attack. The dreaded Fink is a monster whose deadly accuracy is unmatched. Finks are general monsters, like Pokies, but much more powerful. Finks will target anything in their line of sight and are great to use when looting an enemy's yard in waves. Iris, while quite possibly the strangest looking in the monster lineup, are a very specialized monster that you will keep using throughout the game. Their chemical makeup causes them to combust on contact, doing a lot of damage in a small area. Iris will target walls before all other buildings. You can use Iris to attack your enemy's yard from an angle that they may have left unguarded. The best monster for taking down defensive towers early on are Itchies. Itchies can withstand intense damage from both towers and traps. They have a much higher health than Octa oozes, and they target defense towers with dogged determination. They don't trigger heavy traps, and they take up less space in monster housing than other higher level monsters. Bandito, or the assassin monster, has a thick exoskeleton that protects him from attacks. A higher level general monster, like Finks but stronger, banditos will target anything in their path and can be very effective in taking down buildings or looting resources. Fangs release a deadly venom during an attack that liquidates any and all targets. While they are highly efficient general attackers, Fangs can be especially fatal in attacks on other monsters. While they will target anything, there's nothing like sending in an army of fangs to take down a monster bunker. The first flying monster available to you is Vorg, an alien healing monster. Vorgs can be sent in with a horde of attacking monsters to buff their healing ability against attacks from defensive towers and defending monsters from bunkers. Vorgs will be drawn to hover around monsters that need healing the most, making them very effective during an intense battle. The most cunning of resource looting monsters, brains use their high intelligence to get around defenses quickly to loot resources from harvesters, town halls, and storage silos. Brains can swiftly loot 20% more resources than normal monsters. Slime Atticus is one slippery adversary who dissolves on contact when attacked by towers, traps, or other monsters and fissions into two or more smaller monsters. Slime Atticus is a true general attacker who will target anything in its line of sight. The Crabatron monster's favorite target is defensive towers. Crabatron will use his strong claws to snap victims in half. An entire horde of Crabatrons can quite successfully take down a yard's defenses using their destructive capabilities and incredibly high health and leaving plenty of time for other looting monsters to step in and fill your storage silo. A science experiment gone horribly wrong created Project X, a monster program to systematically attack your enemy's defense towers. With a single-mindedness that's almost disturbing. Like Krabatron, Project X will target defensive towers first, but with a much higher capability for damage. Zafridi is a mystical healing monster, like Vorg, but much more powerful. This flying healer can only be damaged by Sniper, Tesla, Aerial Defense Towers, Iris with Airburst, and Daves with Rockets. Zafridi has a ranged attack that can be useful as they buff the health of your other attacking monsters so that they can continue destroying your enemy's yard. Teratorns are flying, fire-breathing monsters who, like Zafridi, are unaffected by cannons, lasers, walls, and booby traps. While other defensive towers, Iras with airbursts and rocket days can attack them, they can be extremely destructive when aerial defense towers and bunker daves are taken out. Wormser is a burrowing monster who can launch surprise attacks by burrowing below his targets and popping out of the ground to destroy them. Wormsers can completely evade wall defenses by burrowing underneath them or take them out completely. Wormsers are general attackers who will target any building within the range of their sneak attacks. Daves are the most destructive of all the monsters. With high health and incredible yard destroying capabilities, Daves can be effectively used for attack as well as defense. 
What do you think the best monster combo for attacking is? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to catch more Backyard Monsters videos and guides, please subscribe to the Kicks Eye YouTube channel.